Hello, Mason Storm here. Today we are making ourselves some beef curry. This stuff's really quite delicious and I'll show you how it's done. To begin with, I have one teaspoon of coriander, cumin, and cardamom. Maybe not in the same order I picked them up on because I might have mixed that up. Two teaspoons of garam masala, one tablespoon of curry powder, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder for a little bit of umph. Of course, I forgot my minced garlic. I've got a couple cloves of that. And then I have my uh, beef broth here, as well as diced onions and some stewing beef. I also have a can of pureed tomatoes and a can of chickpeas. To begin, I've got my curry pot on the stove. We're gonna crank up our temperature. And then we're going to do the thing I seem to always do, which is brown up some onions. Get a little bit of color on them, just a few minutes. And then we're simply going to add in our beef. And then we're going to brown our beef. Just get a little bit of color on it. And kind of cook it through. Not that it's 100% completely necessary to do it this way. But I like the results of doing it this way. So that's why I do it this way. But your mileage may vary and this train of thought is going absolutely nowhere so we keep stirring that and moving that around it's starting to look fantastic we add in our other ingredients now the secret to making this style of curry I find is to have really tender beef now the way that I like to accomplish this is by turning down the heat once I get it up to a boil I turn it down nice and low so I get a nice gentle simmer and then I simply let it cook for hours upon hours. If you start running low on liquid, you can add more. Another option is to add the lid on top so the liquid can't escape. And there you go. You know, six hours later, four hours, depending on how much patience you have, you got have some very tender meat and a delicious curry to go with it. So give this one a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.